Juice Gaming here, and today we're gonna play some Minecraft. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a automatic bone meal farm. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so I'm gonna quickly show you the build here. So it was initially designed by Il Mango, but it was massive. Then Misty Cat compacted it. But when I watched Misty Cat's video and wanted to integrate this in my multiplayer server, I found an issue that didn't work. So I corrected it. I'm gonna just also show you the farm in action. So you flick this lever here. You start the clock here and as you can see everything is working perfectly so guys I'm gonna stop talking and let's get straight into building so here in this double chest you do have all of the items that you need for this farm okay guys so this is all I can carry out for now so I'm gonna start with what I have so you're gonna come get to yourself a nice flat area like this one here and we're gonna start with placing some of your cobblestone here and making a pillar three high like so and breaking the two bottom blocks here now we're gonna go six more on this side one two three four five six and on this side we're gonna go eight more so one two three four five six seven eight now you're gonna connect this like so okay so after you've done that that should give you a seven by nine platform now you're gonna take your stone you're gonna cover up all the cobblestone with some stone, like so. Okay, and once you've got that filled in, you're gonna take the rest of the stone and one of the rows here. You're gonna place another row of stone on the top. So you should get like this sort of L shape. Now you're gonna take your trapdoors here. And you're gonna place them like this and you're gonna flip them okay now you're gonna take your cobblestone again and you're gonna make an outline of everything so you're gonna start here and you're gonna make an outline of the whole platform except for the back part here okay so once you have an outline like this you don't need to fill in the edges here you're gonna go too high on top of the outline so you're gonna make a wall okay and now once you've done that you're gonna take the seven furnaces you have and you're gonna place them here like so now you're gonna go on the other side here oh gosh Okay, I am sorry guys, you're gonna take some composters and place them here. Place the hoppers here. Remember the, the hoppers facing into the composters, like so. And now you can finish the outline. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the front here and we're gonna make some, we're gonna place some pistons. So you're gonna take your scaffolding here, go up to like so. Now you're gonna branch out like so and get your cobblestone, make a row of cobblestone like so. So you got this row, now you're gonna place a cobblestone block here like so. You're gonna start placing standard pistons here like so. Now here, nope I was wrong, not sticky pistons, standard pistons like so. And on top of the standard pistons you're gonna take your sticky pistons like so. Now you're gonna leave this for now and we're gonna go here back to the composters gonna find the middle so this is it here you're gonna go one to the side here and one to the side here so 
Right here, like so. We're gonna take a dropper here on top of this block. We're gonna make a tree by two area like so with a block here. We're gonna take a comparator, a repeater set to one tick, and let's turn dust all around here and here. So this is a auto dispenser system. And to make it actually dispense the bone meal, we're gonna take some of our hoppers. We're gonna go here, like so, to up to the composters and now make a row of hoppers facing into each other, as you can see, and on this texture pack, the arrows and the funnels face are facing here and into the drop. Now we're gonna take some soul sand, we're gonna place it here. We're gonna take some temporary blocks Okay, now I actually have some temporary blocks, so I'm gonna go again up to the cobblestone here and three higher. Now I'm gonna extend out this way over the whole farm. And when you reach the end here with the row, you're going to extend two more like so. And while we are on this side of the farm, we're gonna take some cobblestone and fill in this like so. Okay, now with this uh, temporary blocks in place, you are going to go back here and you're gonna start wrapping the temporary blocks around in block. You don't need to wrap around the top. and leave one block of a gap here okay so now with that done we can break the temporary blocks uh, you're gonna take one of the water buckets and place it here the place that it stops spreading which is here break a glass block here that's why I recommended the silk touch and plate some blue ice here we're gonna take a sign like so take your kelp go down place the kelp like so and now you go down again break the kelp and you should get a bubble elevator we're gonna quickly block this yes this block here we're gonna break it here like so as you can see there should be two blocks here and four blocks here we're gonna go one to the side here place two colors in here take your moss and place it here now here we're gonna take our dispenser like so we're gonna place a temporary block here and place a dropper facing into the dispenser we're gonna break these two blocks here we're gonna break the temporary block we're gonna go up here like so take our hopper place it here now you can break this we're gonna quickly need to place another water bucket here and it will leak so you can take a temporary block fill it in like so now take your go back in front of the farm take some of your scaffolding like so take your chests okay like so go break the temporary blocks here can i aim yes okay so it should look like this now you can go down with the scaffolding a bit you're gonna take another chest here and another one here and take your hopper do it like this and again chest chest hopper now you're gonna take your cobblestone place it here like so so an l shape but you're gonna bring this block place another cobblestone block on top of this block x place another one here break this block you're actually not going to do the same thing here you're gonna place another one here make something like this an l shape and break so you should have something like this now you're going to take your rest and repeaters set three of them to four ticks one two three and the last one to three ticks because this will be a 15 tick clock okay now we're going to place an observer here 
a slime block on top of the observer. You're going to place cobblestone here, a sticky piston on top of it, a lever here, and now you have a switch for the farm. So this will turn on the redstone clock and it will work, take it away and the redstone clock stops and the farm is turned off. Scaffolding, you're gonna take some more here, extend it out, you're gonna take a redstone torch, place it here and you're gonna add redstone dust on top of all of it here. We're gonna come back up here, come here and we're gonna place redstone dust on top of all of these blocks here like so we're gonna take redstone repeaters all of them set to four ticks and you're gonna place some blocks here so now we're gonna quickly come back to our clock we're gonna take a sticky piston here take the cobblestone and place it here get a redstone repeater set to one ticks, a block here, another block here, three blocks here, and another one. On top of both of these blocks here, you're gonna take sticky pistons, here you're gonna take some redstone dust. Now we're gonna need to quickly come back to our chest, because remember we left some stuff here, we're gonna break it here. But place scaffolding here like so i'm going to place a cobblestone block right here with a comparator and go back on the scaffolding and place a piston just like so with a observer facing this way like so glass here and two cobblestone here so now we have redstone dust here a redstone repeater set to two ticks here and we're gonna make a three by two area like so but we're gonna break this here and place a block here now facing this way we're gonna have a comparator and another one here let's soon dust on the top here we're gonna make a shape like this one here we're gonna take a repeater set it to two ticks place a piston on top of it so you know what i'm gonna take my temporary blocks place the piston and now the repeater sets two ticks here you're gonna fill it in with redstone dust connect it this and this here place redstone dust here like so now you're gonna take a redstone repeater set it to two ticks again gonna place the cobblestone here a redstone torch here now we're gonna extend, make a row of cobblestone on top of which there is redstone like so. I'm gonna quickly run the farm because uh, just to make sure everything is working properly. Okay, as you can see. Now we have enough space to take our two water buckets and make infinite water sources so you make a water bucket one block gap water bucket then the middle is a water source and like so now here we're gonna take a cauldron place it in the middle redstone like so fill it in with water in the middle so under the glass here you're gonna place the what lava bucket that will make all of the water into stone and now the last thing gonna click on the dispenser here and put some bone meal i forgot to mention guys that's why we have one glass here i'm gonna take a temporary block place it here and a glass just on top of this part here unfortunately guys because of the nature of this you do need to wait a bit until you get Mm, some bone meal because the bone meal first needs to fill in the dispenser the dropper and the hopper all of them need to be filled in so guys i really do hope that you enjoyed this video it was a ton of fun to make and of course make sure to check out both indel mango and misty cat i'm gonna have them linked in the description so guys i'll see you in the next one bye bye